you heard about them. You're intrigued about them. You want to know more about them. Welcome on Get to Know Your Lion. <laughs> Name, Malka, meaning queen. Spaces, lion. Gender, male. Era, Mufasa reign. When Malka lost his pride, he stumbles upon the pride lands, noticing hyenas stealing food from two lionesses, Sarabi and Sarafina. The cub rushed to the hyenas, growling greatly in order to scare them, which indeed worked. Thanks by the two lioness, he is introduced to the king Mufasa by Sarabi, who also informed the king that the cubs told her he had lost his own pride. Impressed by the courage of Malka, Mufasa welcomed him to stay with them in Pride Lands. Simba protested, telling his father that Malka only saved a few bones. Mufasa then asked Zazu to fly over the lands to see if he would spot the lost pride of Malka. Quizzical, Simba asked his father what would happen if they never found that pride and Mufasa answered that Malka would stay with them forever. Sarabi then added that Malka would become Simba's brother, which pissed off the prince of Pride Rock. Simba didn't want to share his parents and position as prince with a lost cub. Introduced to the pride by Mufasa, Malka quickly started to mingle with the other cubs, including Simba and Nala. One day, as Simba and Nala were playing fight together, Malka got really impressed by Nala's fighting skills and how she could easily knock Simba over. Seeing the attention Malka was receiving from his best friends and parents, Simba quickly got jealous of the new cub, calling him a slim bull behind his back. One day, as Simba was looking for Nala, Malka informed the prince that Nala left with her mother probably to learn the hunting skills. Then the lost cub asked Simba if he wanted to play with him. That's how the prince got an idea to get rid of that cub, taking him deep into the gorges. Malka frowned before asking Simba how they would find their way out. But Simba smiled, telling the cub it wasn't a problem to find the exit of the gorges. At least, not for Simba. Once deep in the gorges, Simba suggested to the other cub to play hide and seek together. Of course, Malka was very hesitant, but finally agreed, telling him to count. Simba rushed away, pretending he was going to hide, but in reality, he was just losing Malka in the middle of nowhere. Laughing at the lost cub, Simba suddenly heard Malka crying out for him. Stopping in his track, Simba suddenly felt bad and returned to the other cub, scared that he would be in danger. But Malka wasn't in danger, frowning. Simba asked Malka why he was crying this loud. And the lost cub answered, confessing to the prince that everyone thought he was brave and clever, but he was really always getting lost. He did lose his pride so many times before, and right now he was scared he lost Simba too. Feeling bad. Simba changed his mind. From now on, he wouldn't leave Malka. He would always keep an eye on him. Malka confessed that he was happy to be with Simba and his pride, but he misses his mother. Understanding, Simba offered Malka to take him back to the Pride Rock to see if Mufasa had any kind of news about the cub's pride. On their way back to the Pride, Malka expressed that he was relieved that Simba knew the truth. And at that, Simba told the lost cub that he has been very brave to scare off the hyenas. Talking about the hyenas. At the same moment, 
Simba spotted these same hyenas who stole the food before. They seemed happy to see that the two cubs were alone and not defended by Mufasa and his pride. It would be easier to kill them and eat them. Running away to save their lives, Malka made up a plan and led Simba to a tree root, knowing the hyenas would be too big to get through the small opening of the tree root. And that's how the two cubs escaped the hyenas. Reaching the Pride Land, the cubs noticed that Zazu brought a visitor and Malka immediately recognized his mother. Running to her, both Malka and his mother were relieved to have found each other back. Meanwhile, Zazu informed that Malka Pride is living behind the mountains, not too far from Pride Land. Hearing that, Simba told Malka to come back once to visit and play together. Malka accepted, but asked Zazu to come pick him up next time so he wouldn't get lost. And at that, the cub left Pride Rock to return to his own pride with his mother. This was Get to Know Your Lion, the episode on Malka. I hope this little video helped you to get to know more who is Malka. Malka is supposedly to become Simba's adopted brother. But as you can see, he didn't become Simba's brother. Mainly because Malka, the cubs who always get lost, found his mother back and returned to his own pride. Even though we can imagine that Malka joined what we can call Simba's gang. And together, they probably went into new adventures. So if you want to know more about another lion, make sure to subscribe my channel, to leave a like on this video and to share with your friends. Next time we will see the story of another unknown lion. Until then, bye bye, take care and see you soon.